Oh, hold on. Okay. This is story time. Welcome to story time, everybody. I'm sorry, Will. I'm sorry. It's been a while, but it's Sierra's birthday, so we wrote this special story time for Sierra's birthday. Happy birthday, Sierra. <clears throat> nervous <laughs> <laughs> I don't yeah I'm this nervous. story is called Moonderman Menace and it's written by me nobody helped me this, is, this was just me this time all right here we go you ready yep ready oh my god <laughs> Shut up, Moon Moon. What is this? One... <laughs> Once upon a time, deep beneath a Minecraft world, in a filthy, stinking sewer that was filled with rats and clowns, there lived three Moondermen brothers. They were all hideously ugly on the outside, but one of them had a heart that was even uglier than his face. In the world above, there lived a camel and a hedgehog. They had built a beautiful castle, complete with a dance floor, a library, and a painting of a skeleton sitting in a cream cheese rangoon. Heck yeah! <laughs> <laughs> they were happy, but there was nothing the Moonder Man hated more than happiness. He was determined to ruin their lives and make them just as miserable as he was. One day, the camel was working in the nether, building a bridge toward the nether fortress. Uh, but the Moonder Man had followed him there. He snuck up behind the camel, creepily sniffed his hair a little bit, and then shoved him off the bridge, straight into the lava below. <laughs> The camel lost his diamond pickaxe, his infinity bow, and his awesome fishing rod. The Moonder Man was very happy about the pain that he had caused. <clears throat> One day, the hedgehog had just brought home her new pet, a beautiful wolf. Oh no. <laughs> but she did not know that the Moonder Man was lurking nearby. When she turned her back, the Moonder Man pushed her pet right into the fire. It burned up in an instant. Overcome with grief, the hedgehog cried. Everything I love died. <laughs> there you go. Oh, I'm crying. Is that the end? No, it's not oh, the end. God. Oh my god. <laughs> that ending. No, Ooh. there's there's more. Okay. There's cool. more. Here we go. <laughs> That is not the end. Uh, one day, the camel crafted the ultimate centerpiece for his bedroom, a golden apple. Uh, uh, this, uh, this golden apple warmed his heart. It made him happy. His happiness made the Moonder Man unhappy. When the camel looked away, the Moonder Man took the opportunity and stole the apple. But the Moonder Man wasn't quite sneaky enough this time. As he tried to make his escape, the camel turned around and spotted him. Moonder Man, he exclaimed. You put that down right now. The Moonder Man ran as fast as his creepy legs could manage and got away with the golden apple. <laughs> the hedgehog heard the commotion <laughs> <laughs> and ran into the room. What happened? Where is your golden apple? It was the Moonder Man, he answered. And I think he has caused enough trouble around here. It's time we do something about this. The pair met in the war room to discuss Ooh. ending the Moonder Man menace. I think I should level up strength, said the camel. And I'll go with deck, said the hedgehog. They chose their weapons accordingly and set out oh. on... <laughs> <laughs> they chose their very different. <laughs> they chose their weapons accordingly and set out on the hunt. 
They tracked the Moonderman to his lair. We've come for you, Moonderman, yelled the camel. Come out and fight. The Moonderman timidly came out from under the rock he was hiding under. You killed my wolf, didn't you, Moonderman? Yes, the Moonderman replied, and it felt great. You pushed me into the lava, didn't you, Moonderman? Yes, one of my favorite memories. And you stole my golden apple. Yep, it was delicious. You are pure evil, Moonderman, said the hedgehog, and you smell bad too. Your days of terrorizing us are over. The camel and the hedgehog readied their weapons, and the <laughs> fight began. <laughs> Oh no, you're gonna die. The fight didn't <laughs> last long. <laughs> the Moonder Man was surely evil, but he was also a wuss. Victorious, and finally free from the terror, the camel and the hedgehog went home. That night, uh, they threw a party on the dance floor. And everyone came by. Even the Moonder Man's brothers, because they had secretly hated him as well. <laughs> <laughs> they all did the filthy rat moon shuffle and lived happily ever after. Oh, the pig man's there too. The pig man made it. Oh, yes. I'm dying. Ugh. <laughs> and if you will notice, um,. Thank you, Strict Nine Soul. If you look in the background on the monitors, that is actually Moon. <laughs> that is Untethered Moon. Uh, oh my yeah. god! <laughs> he's got to he's got to do the the stripes in his hair, so he looks more like uh, that emo. <laughs> right. <laughs> this has been Moonder Man Menace, written by me. What'd you think, Sierra? You like it? <laughs> yeah, it was good. I thought you were gonna die. I thought this was a, uh, a redo of the whole uh, dragon dragon fight, and I thought I was going to be the one that would help you, no. you know, deliver the fin final blow. I can't but, let... Know, since I, this, is, this is done in your point of view, of course. Terrible. <laughs> I can't let Moon kill me. I what? Moon was gonna kill you. Moon can't kill me. It's like the dragon in Dark Souls Three killed ya. you. You did notice though, right? The, Wait, what? Th this is the arena of the dragon. No, I know. That's why I oh, was okay. thinking that you were gonna die. That's I didn't the think, only reason I thought that. I didn't think you would notice that that is literally the 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 dragon's arena oh, I from, remember it. I from remember Dark Souls how angry Three. You got. <laughs> uh, we remembers. We didn't want to relive that. It had to be different this time. Oh, okay. The preferred ending. Yeah, that, this is the real ending. That was a fake ending back in the day. <laughs> right. Of course, of course. <laughs>